The aim of this video is to help you understand how to calculate the mode, median, mean and the range, as well as understand why they are important. Below you are given a table of results for the relay times for the women's 4x400m four four race for the past 5 races. Imagine you are on the Olympics committee and you wanted to select someone for the 400m race. You can see that a set of numbers can be difficult to interpret and compare. It is much easier to summarise the data using a single value. This allows us to gain an overview of what the data is showing. The three averages that you need to know about are the mode, median and the mean. Make sure you know that the range is not an average, it just measures how spread out the data is. When working out the averages and the range, you can remember the following riddle. Hey diddle diddle, the median's the middle. You add then divide for the mean. The mode is the one that you see the most and the range is the difference between. Here we have a set of data and we want to work out the mode, median, mean and the range. To work out the mode, you look for the most common number in our list, which in this case is 60, so the mode is 60. To find the median, you need to make sure your list is in ascending order, starting from the smallest to biggest. Then you can cross off the numbers on either side of our list until you reach the middle. If you have one number in the middle, that becomes the median. However, in this example, we have two, so you need to add those numbers together and divide your answer by two to give you the median. To find the mean, you add together all the numbers in our list, and then you divide by how many numbers there are. So there are 10 numbers. So you add all of them up, you get 621. Divide that by 10, you get 62.1. And to find the range, you do the biggest number, take away the smallest number. So 120, take away 30, and that will give you 90. For your flip learning task, find the averages and the range of the times for each athlete. By comparing your averages and ranges, select the athlete you have chosen to participate in the Olympics. You may want to also research the advantages and disadvantages of each type of average to help you justify your answer. We are excited to see your conclusions to the flip learning task.